Hello again, this is Kyle. Let's write some code. We're going to dive straight into Ember.js and the first thing you'll need is to have Node.js installed. I'll have a card up in the corner there uh, with an earlier video I did of how to get that going for you. So if you have Node.js, you can type npm install ember-cli-g to install it globally. Um, and this will install the Ember command to your system. Uh, now it's important to point out that both Node.js and Ember CLI are not required to build an Ember app. They are just, just they just make things a lot easier uh, to do. So now that we have the Ember command on our machine, we can type Ember new bear dash app if we want to create a new Ember bear app. And what this would do is create a folder for us and then run Ember init into it. But since we already have a folder here, I'm just going to run Ember init. Uh, within that folder and it's going to go ahead and create a project scaffolding uh, and all the files and all the dependencies and all we everything we, we need to get started with Ember. So now that everything has finished installing we can type npm start to start up our development server and once that has finished starting up we can go to our web browser here and we can go to localhost colon 4200 uh, to uh, start up the server or to view the server on uh, port 4200 and congratulations you have your first Ember app. So if you look at all the files that Ember has created, uh, you'll see that there's a whole bunch of folders and a whole bunch of files. And one of these files is in uh, app templates uh, application.hbs. And this is our, our main template uh, for the entire application. This is why it says welcome to Ember is because it has this H2 tag here. So we're just going to clear that out and we're going to write our own. Uh, so we want, uh, we want an app with a list of bears here. And so it's just going to be a UL tag and each of these are going to be UI um, or LI tags. And so what we're going to use is we're going to use this uh, handlebar syntax, which is these two, uh, these two mustaches here. And we're going to loop through an array. And this array is going to be called bears. And then each item in the array is going to be named bears here. And so we'll close that off. And so within this, uh, um, this loop here, we're going to um, we're going to add some li tags for each bear in here and then we're just going to populate the li tag with the uh, the bear which is basically each item in this bears array. Now if you look at our page our, our bears array is empty it's because we haven't defined um, we haven't defined this this bears property here uh, to, to feed into this and so to do that we're going to go here to our terminal and we're going to use ember again to do ember generate controller application and what this is going to do is going to generate all the code and tests and, and all the kinds of stuff to generate this uh, this app controllers application file here for us so all we need to do to get the bears to show up here is create that bears property here and we'll just create it as an array of bears so we'll say polar and brown and we'll save that and then we'll go back here to our terminal and type npm start to fire up our, our, our development server again and so now we can go to the browser and we can refresh it and you see we see our list of, of bears here and so we've defined this property on the controller which um, the, the the template or the view is going to get that uh, that property that same property bears here and we're just looping through it and printing out each bear in that array all right, moving on. So now we want to be able to add new bears to um, to our list here. So I'm going to go here and I'm going to use uh, there's an input helper that just it's basically creates an input tag, but it helps us uh, it helps us create the bindings and, and everything we need. It's just a little bit nicer. And then we're just going to reference this bear name. So whatever somebody inputs into uh, this this input field is going to be assigned to this bear name property here. And then of course we need a button uh, to click once we have finished typing our bear name. So we'll just say add bear here, and we'll give that uh, a value of add bear. And so you can see that we now have this uh, this input field and this button here and when we click it it doesn't do anything and so what we need to do is we need to go back to our controller and we need to handle that action so we, we've named this action when when somebody clicks on this button it's going to call this add bear action here and so we can handle that in uh, our controller here by just defining this actions object and then creating a function here uh, for for the add bear thing, the add bear action that we've uh, we've defined to handle it here. And so what we can do is we can say, okay, let the bear name equal uh, this get uh, bear name. And so remember that this is the uh, the property. This is this is the value. This is whatever somebody has typed into this input is going to be assigned to this bear name property on the controller here. And so what we're simply doing is we're getting that bear name from the controller here. Um, and so then we can say, okay, this get uh, bears. We're going to get this uh, bears array here. 
And then what we're going to do is we're going to call a push object on it. And we're going to do push object as opposed to push because Ember has all these special little, uh, these little methods and things that you should call. Um, so it knows to, um, to properly fire all the observers and, and bindings uh, that operate on them. And so one of those is push object here. So it, it knows to fire the appropriate bindings for uh, this, this array. And so what we're going to do is uh, after the person has clicked add bear, we're going to get the bear name that they've entered into that input field, and then we're going to push it onto our, um, our array here, and we should see the view just automatically update with whatever bear we add on. So, you know, maybe we'll add Yogi Bear uh, and then push it on, and you can see it's added there, and we can just go nuts and add as many as we want, and it's going to continue to add those uh, and represent that array as a, a list of uh, HTML elements. So now we have this great bear list uh, component or, uh, or thing, you know, and we want to likely use it more than just in our application. We want to use it uh, throughout our app. And so we want to turn this into a component. And so we can go here to our terminal. We can say ember generate component uh, bear list. And this will generate all the, the necessary files for us to get started with our own component. And so the first thing we can do is we can say, okay, let's take all this, uh, this template, this handlebars code uh, for our bears list components, and let's input it into uh, the bears list uh, in the app templates components bears list. Uh, this is the template for our, our components. And then all the necessary uh, bits that it, it, it requires to run from the controller, uh, we'll move this into the components uh, bear list uh, instead. And so as you can see, a component is basically a view or a template and a controller uh, mixed into one thing. And so now all we need to do to use this uh, component is simply do um, the handlebars and then do bash, or, or bear dash list. And it's important to know in Ember the, the, um, the convention is to use a dash to indicate that this is a, um, in fact a, a component and not a property on your, on your controller. So now we just need to fire up our server again. And you can see that we get the exact same functionality um, at, that we had before, except now we have this nice little uh, component that we can just copy and paste anywhere that we need it. So in reality, we're not gonna have our, our bears list come from just an array within a component. It's likely gonna come from some other remote API um, that we request via an Ajax request or, or some sort kind of thing. And so um, if we're gonna handle, if we're gonna be dealing with any kind of source of data, uh, then we want to do that within a route. And so I'm gonna to need to generate a route. And so I'm gonna say ember generate route. I'm just gonna generate an application route here. And this is gonna create all the necessary code for us. Oh, and so we just make sure we don't wanna overwrite our application and it's gonna create all the other files that it hasn't created already. So let's fire up our server by typing in NPS start again, and then we're gonna to go to the application route that it has created for us. So whenever you visit a, an, an Ember app, the initial thing that it loads is, is this route here. And uh, in it, it has this uh, model hook uh, in it, if I can spell it correctly. And so it has this function here that's gonna call whenever it visits, uh, whenever it visits this route, um, when it first loads it. And this is intended on getting data. It's, it's grabbing a, a source of data from say a remote server or a database or you know wherever. Um, this, is where it, this is where you grab your, your remote data and then you feed it into your controller. Uh, so we can do this with jQuery uh, by simply doing a return uh, get uh, bears.json and so uh, anything you return here so if we've returned a uh, an array here uh, it's going to return that array and it's actually going to set it on the controller as a property called model uh, how convenient the same name as this um, but ember is smart enough to know that this is a promise and to resolve that promise and anything that is resolved from that promise assign that to that model property instead and now so we don't have a, an api server or anything running for this bears.json file so what we're going to do is we're just going to go in here to our public folder and we're just going to create this file ourselves uh, just so it can it can access this file and grab it and so we'll just say um, we'll use json um, and say polar grizzly and brown those are the three bears i seem to only know 
So now when we enter this route, it's going to get the bears JSON and resolve that from our remote server and set it as a model property on our, um, our application controller here. It doesn't exist here, but this, is a, this property does exist here, uh, right in here. So now what we can do is we can go to our bears list component and since this bears uh, property no longer needs to be fed with this fake data because we're getting it from our server here, uh, we can just set that the default here to be null. And so then the last thing we can do is, so since here on our, our Ember controller, our, our application controller, uh, we are setting this model property here, we need to pass this down into our bears list component. And so the property that we're using in the bears list component is called bears. And so what we're gonna do is we're gonna say bears equals model. So this is the property bears within the bears list controller that we're setting, and we're setting it to the controller's model property here. And so what this will let us do is when we load up the app, it's going to get those remote uh, bears. Uh, it's gonna do that remote request here um, that you can see that it actually is working. Uh, so you can see that it's getting this bears JSON here and it's um, it's populating our, our view here. So the last thing we need to do is that now that we've had we've, we've created a list of bears that we are happy with, we want to save it and store it back on the server. We want to call an API and say store this and do whatever you need with it. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go here into my bears list component and I'm going to add another button here and it's going to call a new action called uh, save bears. And so when this is clicked, it's going to call the save bears uh, um, action on our component here. So I'm going to go back here to our bears list, and I, now I need to handle this uh, save bears uh, action. And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to call this send action because I want what I want to do is that now that we've got this uh, this action in our and we've, and we've handled it, maybe there's some manipulation we need to do or or whatever we need to do here in this uh, this action handler, we want to send it out because the route is what handles all the data. It, it's where we grab the data and it's where we store the data. It's, it's the, whenever we're gonna manipulate the source of data, we wanna do that in the route. And so what we wanna do is we wanna send an action out saying, okay, the route, uh, we're now ready to, to store this data. And so I'm gonna send uh, an action just called action. Uh, and then I'm gonna get uh, the bears here, uh, our list of bears and send that off into the action. And so to, uh, to do this in our, um, when we uh, add this bears list, we need to define that action handler here. So I'm gonna say action, uh, we'll just say store the bears. And so this action refers to the components uh, action that it's sending out of the components. Um, and then the, what we're assigning it to is the handler that, that's now going to take over and continue to handle this. And uh, we've, we've named this store the bears. And so now we can go to here to our application controller, or rather our application route, and handle this action by adding actions, object, store the bears. And they, it's going to pass in this, uh, this array of bears here that it's sending out here. Uh, it's our full list of bears. So now at this point, we can basically, now that we have the bears, we can basically, you know, maybe post it. We have um, some kind of API and we need to uh, save the bears. Um, we can handle like any errors or any kind of things. We can then, you know, uh, populate something else in the controller that causes an error to display or, or whatever we can do. At this point, uh, we, we are able to control the data and send the data back down and all the actions keep going up. Um, and that is probably the most important thing about Ember to keep in mind is that data goes down and actions go up. Uh, here in the model, we're sending data down. We got the data, we're sending it down to the controller as the model property, uh, which then gets sent down to this bears list as the bears property. And then once this changes, we then we send this action up uh, through this action handler, uh, which then uh, calls the uh, sends further sends the action up to the stores the bear uh, uh, action handler, which then mop it, manipulates the data. And then after the data is manipulated, we can come back here and we can get and set it back down on the property. We we'll set the model property again. And so just always remember uh, that data needs to go down and actions need to come up. So I hope this has helped you get started with Ember. And if it has, then please share the video and help others get started with Ember. And if you want to see more videos, please subscribe. Thanks again for watching. Thank you.
Thank you.